Hi there. We are still looking at um, item list or shop items. Now look at how you can add a new item when it's not in the system. Now adding a new item is pretty pretty simple. All you need to do is go to go to add item button on the right hand side of the screen so you click on it so you are given a fresh form that you have to fill so we start from the top so let's say um let's say note one exercise book or well, let's say ceramic bowl ceramic ceramic bowl okay and then we'll choose uh, category for it so let's say we put it under groceries we can leave this one at uh, NAN and then auto discount the auto discount allows you to give an automatic discount when you are selling this item so if you put 10% there a 10% discount will be given to anybody who purchases this item automatically without you doing any further work you keep it as zero nothing happens so i'll leave it as zero shelf i'll select shelf one warehouse i think i'll pick let's say main shop warehouse supplier i'll pick first supplier so all the suppliers you've set up earlier on will be available here so you can select them then cost price let's say my cost price 550 and then the system tries to give me an estimated price selling price so if i say i want 60 percent profit it changing the price automatically to 880 cities because that is 60 percent on top of 550 but if after that you still want to change the price you can go ahead and reduce it to 800 if the system allows you if you have a batch number you can put it if you don't have you can leave it at n slash a then quantity quantity is the quantity you have in stock as at the time you are creating the item so if i have 100 i type in 100 reorder level is a level that you want the system to prompt you that this item is getting finished so as you sell if it's 100 and reorder level is 50 let's say reorder level is 50 it means when i'm selling this product and it reduces up to 50 the system will prompt me that this item is getting finished Reorder quantity is the quantity you would like to reorder when it gets finished. It's not mandatory, so we can leave it at zero. If this product is an expiry product, then you can you can select yes and say yes. But if it's not, you keep it at no. So and if you select yes then you have to enter the date because i've selected no i'll leave the date now another thing you can also do at this point you can scan all your barcodes and add them to here you can also add your price and then when you save you add both for you or you can decide to save and then later on add the price so whichever one you want to do you can do that So for now, I can add a price. Let's say I'm selling it for, okay, the price is even here. So when we save, it's going to add it to us. Or you can add it if you want, whichever way. So I'll save. So I'll, you click on save when you finish entering all the details. You'll save. It's telling me there's an error, so I'll have to check. so we try it again so we just look through and see what the problem is let me see if i change this to um, main dish this is not a dish this is a drink whatever whatever it is let me just change it maybe uh let me see so save still
so it has saved so we now have our ceramic bowl and then we have quantity of this but since we didn't add the price we can come here edit and then we can add the price now so it's a single bowl that costs 800 cities then you hit the enter key so now we have our price we go back and then we have price equal to 800 and then quantity yeah and there's no expiry date thank you for watching